Okay, hello everybody and welcome to your next uh, tutorial on doing C Sharp and XNA creating a platformer. Uh, so, in this tutorial we are going to start the animation class. And what the animation class is going to do is that it's going to handle all the animations in our game, whether it be screen transitions, parallax animations, uh, whether it has to do with uh, player animations, character animations, uh, and transition animations, etc, etc. So, uh, this is how it's going to work. So, we're going to create a new class. And we're going to name it, let me move this down. We're going to name it animation. So, animation. And we're going to create one more class. And we're going to call this fade animation. Okay, so we're probably not gonna, we might not get into creating the fade animation class or get in depth into it. Uh, this tutorial, but uh, we should get a fair way started with the animation class. Now, what I'm about to show you, there is probably there's 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 probably other ways to handle it as well. And some people might agree with me. They might say this is a great way of doing it. Some people may disagree and say there is better ways to handle it, but up to you, depending on which form, which way you want to do it, you can handle it this way. Well, what we're going to be doing is, uh, animation is going to be a base class, and I haven't decided if it's going to be abstract or not. We can decide that any time later on, but for now, it's going to be the base class for all the animation classes, okay? Uh, so, first things first, what we're going to do is... Got to include the framework, uh, the content, and the graphics. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is that the central stuff that every class is going to need, what we're going to put, we're going to create an instance of it in the animation class, okay? So, every class is going to need uh, everything that derives from the animation class is going to need an image. They're going to need... Um, some text uh, and with text they're going to need a font and they're going to need to have a color uh, if the image is so whenever we're doing uh, if we're doing player animation we're going to have to use a source rectangle right so uh, just in case some of them are going to need a source rectangle and what else are we going to need? We are going to need a rotation. Uh, we also need a vector to origin. What else? What else? Uh, what else do we need? Hmm. We need a scale. That's going to be a float as well. We also need a position. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, scale. We also need a position, and that's going to be a vector too as well. And for now, that's all we're going to have, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to have a load content method. And if, if, we, if I miss something, I'll add it later. So we have our, uh, the three essential things we need is the image, we need the text, and we need position. And we move this down so you can see it. Position. So what we're going to do, and we also might need an axis. I'm going to set the axis to float, but we might need it. We may not need it, depending on what we're going to add. So first of all, we want to say that this image is equal to the image in the parameters. Uh, the text is going to be equal to the text in the parameter, and the position is going to be equal to the position set in the parameter. Okay, so now everything else needs to have a default value, okay? Uh, so... For the font, we're going to say that the font is equal to, hmm, okay, we'll, we'll put in a content manager, and name a content, and let me just arrange this here, okay, so we'll say that, uh, 
if fonts equal to null. So if we haven't specified anything for fonts, uh, then we'll say font is equal to uh, content.load and we'll load a sprite font and that font will be animation font. Okay, so we have a font loaded. Uh, we got our position, our source rect. We're going to say that if image is not equal to null so if we have an image because sometimes the animation is going to be an image animation sometimes it could be a text animation so if it's not an image animation then we're going to set image equal to null so if image is uh, not equal to null then we're just going to set the, the default source rectangle equal to the images width and the images height okay simple enough uh, for the rotation we'll just set to zero this this is probably not going to change unless you have any animation that has to do with rotation uh, for axis we'll set that to zero uh i spelled scale wrong for scale we'll set that to uh 1.0 since the default scale uh that means that the image is normal size so 1.0 uh let's see we'll say and for this one we should say that and now for this we'll just say if text is equal to string is not equal to string empty so if it's not equal to string empty then we load in our font and we'll set a default color equals to new color and we'll just make it so I don't even know 114 77 255 or whatever anyways so we'll set to that color and that's it and for the origin we're gonna set the origin later okay so we have a load content um and we also need to have an unload content and so check how much time I have left in this video okay so three more minutes approximately or two and a half Okay, so for unload content, uh, what we can do is that you can, you can, if you want, you can set the values equal to null, all the values equal to null if you want. Uh, and that's what I'm essentially going to do. So we'll just say that image is equal to text. No, no, no. Image is equal to position. It's equal to font. Equal to color equal to source rect equal to rotation which is equal to axis which is equal to scale and we'll set those all to null okay and oh they said null is not a uh flows on nullable type so we're probably going to 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 be honest we don't really we could all set them to zero or a different value but they they would still take up the same amount of space in memory uh so for these stuff like rotation and stuff i i don't really think that we sh we need to deallocate that uh what we could do is that we could say that we could use this content right here we could create our own personal content manager and we could unload the font if we wanted to so what we're going to do is oh yeah you should make these protected as well I forgot to do that uh, but what we're going to do is we'll just make a content manager just to make our lives easier and we'll set this content equal to new content manager uh, content dot service provider and and if we don't need this in the future, we, we can all ch we could change it. Uh, but for now, seems like the best idea, so we'll go with it. So just change the lowercase c. And for unload content, all we'll do is just say content dot unload. So once we do that, then it will, it will just unload all the fonts and then stuff we loaded of the fonts and the well that's the only thing we're basically loading in, but. I, I guess so and uh, we could we could set the source rec equal to null I believe oh well we actually can't well anything you can set the null 
uh i'm i'm that's not clear to me right now but anything you can set to null uh then you should set it to null and i'll have that set up for you in the next tutorial uh but yeah that's it for now and then we'll finish off doing the the draw uh, but before before we finish this off we want to make we're going to want to make uh, the virtual functions so then the derived class can override from it. Uh, so lastly, we'll just make a virtual void and we'll have draw and public virtual void update and we'll have sprite batch. And actually, we don't even. To be honest, we don't even need to make these virtual. Well, we could. Actually, we, we will make these virtual. The only thing that we don't need to make virtual uh, will be the draw command. Well, you can make it virtual if you want it to be, in case you might want to draw things differently uh, within uh, the base class or whatever. But most likely, we're not going to be overriding the way things are drawn. Uh, but we'll, we'll keep the low content, unlow content, and update as virtual, and this one will be optional for the time being. But that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and bye.